I've been investing with both of these apps for about two years now, and they are very, very different. So if you're looking for guidance on which one to go with, you're in the right place. So keep watching for a detailed, honest review. What is up everyone? I'm Rose and welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about stock investing for beginners. So if you're new here, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell for new videos like this every week. In this video, I'll compare Betterment versus Stash in terms of investment approach or how your money gets invested. Also in terms of safety and a discussion of the risks involved, cost, and finally, of funding options and account types offered. So let's get started. Before signing up for any investing app, it's important to understand how is your money going to get invested. Stash and Betterment have very different approaches to investing, so let's talk about that. Stash is a platform that simplifies investing for the everyday person. So what's cool about this app is that they completely eliminate typical financial jargon on their interface. For example, when you're scrolling through the list of investments on the Stash interface, you'll see that everything is in really easy to understand language. This small but mighty ETF, if you click into that, you'll see that it's actually an ETF that gives you exposure to a bunch of companies that have small capitalizations. Now, if you're a beginner, if you saw an investment called small cap companies, you're not gonna know what that is. So that's kind of the good thing about Stash is that they list everything in terms of everyday language that anyone can understand. This is cool because for most people, what they say is what is most intimidating about getting started investing is navigating through a bunch of financial jargon. So Stash completely takes out all this intimidating technical language to make choosing investments as easy as possible for you. Now, the thing with Stash is that it's totally up to you to do your own research and pick what stocks you wanna buy. On the other hand, Betterment will create a portfolio for you. For example, here's my Betterment portfolio. They created this for me based on basic inputs, my, my timeline, the target amount, and etc. So my money is invested in all these ETFs and I'm actually not the one who picked them. Versus at Stash, my money is invested in just two ETFs that I've picked, the Women Who Lead and the Do The Right Thing Fund. And you know, it was kind of like shopping in a grocery store and I was just picking what ETFs I wanted in my Stash portfolio. Investing at Stash is like having someone hand you an empty grocery basket and they tell you, here, just put whatever you want in it. And then investing at Betterment is like having someone who's very knowledgeable and qualified just hand you a ready-made basket that has a bunch of goodies already in it. Do you wanna pick your own investments or do you want someone to do it for you? It's definitely more fun to choose your own stocks the way you can do on Stash, but that also means you have to do your research and you have to know what you're doing. I could easily see someone who doesn't know what they're doing just kind of put all their money into stocks and then they're hoping they'll have enough in there to buy a house in five years. But the thing is, if you need to cash out on your investments in five years, you should have most of your money invested in bonds, not stocks. So there needs to be a lot of inten intentionality and thought behind how you invest your money and the average person doesn't know how to do this. So that's where Betterment wins over Stash. For beginners, you don't know what factors to consider when choosing your own investments, so letting Betterment create the portfolio for you is better than shooting in the dark and trying to figure it out on your own. Other things you'd need to consider as an investor is things like taxes, you know, short-term versus long-term capital gains, so that should factor into when you buy and sell, and this is all stuff that you wouldn't necessarily know how to do if you're just starting out. Betterment will take care of all those things for you. They do something called tax loss harvesting, so they'll only buy and sell in investments in a way that is that makes sense for your tax situation to minimize your tax bill. Now with Stash, they're not going to do any of that. So if you don't you know, know about the tax considerations you should have as an investor, then I think Betterment would be better for you. Get it? Betterment? Better? Now let's talk about safety and some of the risks involved with each app. They're both registered with the SEC, which means that both Betterment and Stash are legit and they can't lie and cheat you. They're also insured by the SIPC, which means that even if the company goes bankrupt, you'll get your money back because they have insurance. These are basic requirements for any investing app, so I'm happy to say that both Stash and Betterment are covered in that sense. But I also want to make a comment about investing risk. As with any type of investing, there's no guarantees that you'll make money. All investing involves a risk of loss. But the question is, do you know what you're doing? Over time, informed investors make money. So, you know, Stash and Betterment are no different in that regard. Whether you make or lose money will depend on how good of an investor you are. 
So if you make an investment just because you feel like it and then you sell it when you get scared, then you're probably gonna lose money. So regardless of whether you go with Stash or Betterment, what's risky or not depends ultimately on you and how you use the app. Now for a quick comparison of cost, Betterment charges an annual percentage fee of 0.25% and Stash charges a monthly fat flat fee, fat fee of $1. So if you had say $1,000 to invest, then Betterment would charge you an annual fee of $2.50 and then at Stash, you'd pay a $1 a month or annual fee of $12. A $12 fee on $1,000 is 1.2% 1 annually. That's almost five times more than Betterment. You also have to keep in mind the level of service that you're paying for. So Stash doesn't really do anything other than presenting investments to you in easy to understand language. Um, they do have a lot of in-app education and articles to help you learn, but they're not really doing any investment management for you. You know, with Betterment, you're getting full service advice and 24 seven portfolio management. And they're buying and selling and, you know, adjusting your portfolio at all hours of the day. So you definitely get a much higher level of service and I think more bang for your buck at Betterment. And finally, let's talk about funding options and account types offered by each app. Stash offers roundups. So that's a really cool funding option where you can invest with your spare change by rounding up your debit card and even your credit card purchases. Betterment on the other hand doesn't offer the roundups feature. Um, I really don't mind this about Betterment because it's not like investing my spare change is gonna make me a millionaire. That's just ridiculous. What's actually gonna make you a millionaire is committing to making regular deposits weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, and then automating it. So while the roundups feature is nice and every cent counts, I still don't think Stash is worth the fees, especially if you're investing tiny amounts of money. Betterment also offers a couple of accounts that Stash doesn't offer, such as joint accounts and SEP IRAs. SEP IRAs are meant for anyone who's self-employed and doesn't have a 401k. So if you're self-employed, make sure to check out this video here to find out more about SEP IRAs. But bottom line is Betterment offers more account types so that it's a little bit easier to have all the accounts you need in your financial life just in one place. Whereas Stash is a lot more limited in their options. Which one are you leaning towards, Stash or Betterment? Let me know in the comments and let's discuss. In a nutshell, Betterment creates a fully diversified investment portfolio for you, while Stash just gives you the tools and the easy to navigate interface so that you can create an investment portfolio on your own. While both apps are registered with the SEC and they are SIPC insured, the level of risk involved ultimately depends on how thoughtful you are about choosing your investments. As for costs, you get a lot more for your money at Betterment since they do full portfolio management for you. And Stash's flat fee is especially not worth it if you have $1,000 or less because the monthly fee works out to be a big percentage of your account balance. Lastly, Betterment offers more account types than Stash does, including joint accounts and SEP IRAs. So if you have a significant other or you're self-employed, then Betterment might be a better fit for your needs. Did you like this video? If so, then please give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions at all about what I talked about, feel free to ask me in the comments below or send me a DM on Instagram at investingwithrose. To learn more about money and investing, make sure you also check out these two videos right here. And if you're new to the channel, I'd love it if you subscribe because I post new videos like this every week. Always remember to go after your dreams unapologetically and to live life on your terms. Cheers.